charismatic. Not so really in the case of the men's. It was really, I think you'll agree, Dick, a one-man show. Scott Hamilton of the United States, the world champion. Well, all of the men's competition had the ubiquitous triple jumps and the moves that we always see in men's competition. But it was only Scott Hamilton that had real charisma, a real challenge, a real uh, flair, a standout flair in the competition. And I guess that's because he's Scott Hamilton. No question. Champion of the world, let's watch his performance with our commentary as recorded at the time. Interestingly enough, Scott does not appear to compete against any other skater. Instead, he seems to compete against himself, demanding of himself the very best. And if he gets a six or a gold medal, that's recognition of the fact that he is achieving what he wants to, rather than competing against just any other skater. on a band bus one night, a snowy night driving through Vermont. Triple flip jump, with the toe pick in, double flip jump instead. first-rate performance. He's a wonderful skater. So tight, so crisp, so clean. I think this program will fit in even better when he's had a little chance to perform it a few more times in front of other audiences. But basically, uh, you know, he's a wonderful skater. As for the rest of the medalists there, second place went to Heiko Fischer of West Germany, third place to Josef Sobocic of Czechoslovakia. The fourth place finisher was James Santee of the United States, brother of David. That's the way it was then at Skate America in the Olympic Ice Arena in Lake Placid, New York. Our thanks, as always, to former world and Olympic champions Peggy Fleming and Dick Button. This is Jim.